Hello everyone. Uh, I'm delighted to be joining you to announce the results of the Academy Photo Competition. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Roger Whiteman. I taught at the Academy for 28 years and retired 18 months ago, just in time to avoid the COVID pandemic. I have always enjoyed my photography and I was delighted when Mr Welsh asked me if I would be judge of this competition. So we had around 320 photos submitted, 90 staff and pupils were involved and you've shown all sorts of creativity, initiative, technical skill or just that knack of being in the right place at the right time to capture an image. Uh, I was looking for good technique in judging this, good technique, composition, uh, but also for shots that just capture a moment or a feeling in these crazy times. So there's a real mixture of shots that you're going to see. Um, I cut the 320 photos down to a long list of about 30 and then from that 30 a short list of 9. And it's from that list that the winner or the winners were chosen. I had a meeting with Mr and Mrs Prosser on Zoom and we shared our thoughts and we came to a consensus. We're all in agreement uh, on the results. So I will share that short list of nine with you and then the first, second place, third place winners and then finally we'll get to the all important division result. So the first shot is this one from Lily Deacon. This is a wonderfully moody shot. Uh, with all those those bands, those sweeping bands of, of light and dark coming across on the reflections of the beach. Lily submitted three great images, but this was my favourite. Next shot, Mr McFarlane from the Geography Department. Uh, there were a good few pet shots, but this one took the biscuit. Uh, look at the razor sharp focus on the nose and the hair and the subtle use of depth of field putting the background just out of focus. And what a great piece of timing that was. Well done, Mr McFarlane. Next one, Cole Kirby. I love this neon garage. The diagonal rods of neon light and the deserted forecourt really capture the times. And the perspective, the angle from which this photo was taken just adds a little bit of extra interest. That's a great shot, Cole, well done. Next one, Caroline Gardner. Caroline submitted a few strong images, but this one was my favourite. It really conveys that feeling of lockdown, the wistful look outside, thinking about opportunities denied. Very much of its time. Well done, Caroline. Next shot, Ariana. There were a few shots of this type, but none of them quite like this. It really captures some of the emotion and the frustration of this lockdown time. So much detail in this photo, and the more you look, the more you see, with those three different poses of, Ari of Ariana layered one on top of each other. So well done, Ariana. Very creative, great shot. Next one, Jamie Banks. It's a great shot of the Fourth Bridges. The low perspective works really well, and those strong lines of the bridges converging into the distance. And then the strong lines in the foreground add even more interest. And all of that contrasts with the diffuse light of the sky in the background and those clouds. So that's a great shot, Jamie. Well done. Next one is Dominic Thompson. And here we have someone else who's willing to explore with perspective. It's a really effective shot, this one, with a single snow line of the tire mark disappearing into the distance a road leading to some unknown destination. Well done, Dominic. Someone else who submitted more than one very strong image. This next shot is of Brodie Cunningham's. And Brodie, I think, is the only guide to make the final. He's produced a great shot here. By fixing the horizon so low, he's opened up the huge expanse of sky with those fantastic gradations in color. And the moon up high just draws your eye and then you see the swirling flock of birds. This photo reveals its magic in stages. Great shot, Brody. Well done. Finally, we've got Ms. Murray from the English department. 
Sometimes you just have to be in the right place at the right time. And sometimes that needs hard work and lots of perseverance. This would have been a great sunset shot regardless, but add in the paraglider just taking off and you get this magnificent silhouette. Another great shot, great work, this Murray. So there we are, um, a great collection of photos there. And you will have your own views uh, on who should win, but I have mine and here they are. So in reverse order, in third place, we have Lily Deacon's wonderfully dark, moody shot. Probably of Granton, I think. It's a great composition and a terrific skyline, but you're drawn down to the small silhouetted family group on the beach and you're invited to create a narrative. What made them go there? What were they thinking? Why were they there? And we can all relate to that need to get outdoors. In second place, Cole Carby's Neon Garage, a city lockdown landscape with not a soul to be seen. Those strong colours in the foreground contrasting with the pitch black background and that just accentuates the feeling of isolation. It's a striking image and technically superb. Well done, Cole. So finally, in first place, Ariana. More than any other image submitted, this one drew me right in. The layering of images unfolds a story and it invites all manner of interpretations. And what is in that text bubble? It's not the highest resolution image submitted, but the pixelation adds to the portrayal of digital learning. Great creativity, Ariana, and great planning. Congratulations and well done on a great image. So well done to all the winners. It's a fantastic set of shots and congratulations to everyone. Now for the division results. Firstly, those of you who made the long list, uh, but not the final, you all have scored a point for your division. You'll be wondering who you are, so here are some of those shots. This group, we've got Cecily and Caroline, Xander, Sam, Rosanna and Rory. Some great shots there. Well done, you folks. The next group, Richie with his sunset, Noah with a couple of shots, the cat and the reflections off the ice, I love that shot. Nathan, Lucy and Lily with another shot there. Great isolation there out on the pier. Our next group, shots here from Jamie and Emily, Cole, another good image, Cole, Cecily a second one, and then two from Elisa, uh, two good fun shots, I love the feet in the snow shot there, and you had some great landscapes as well, Elisa, well done. And our final group, Alexandra, Dominic, and then a great shot from, from Grace. So, you folks all win a point for your division. Then we have the finalists. First place gets 10 points, second gets seven, third gets five, and the other finalists get three points each. So we add them all up, what does it mean? Well, here's the final result. Division winners are houses by a clear margin. Well done, folks. Ken Ross and Carmichael battling it out for second and third, and then Coburn bringing up the rear. Well, what a great competition that's been. And thank you very much, Mr. Welsh, for asking me to get involved in the judging. It's been great fun. Uh, well done, everyone. And get out there and keep taking photos. Goodbye.